class of 2018 has selected Jordan Cole as a member of their class to share with us some thoughts on this graduation day. Jordan received his Bachelor of Science degree in biology with a minor in history from Duke University where he was president of the Pre-Veterinary Club. His passion for veterinary medicine is zoo, is zoo as well as wildlife and endangered species conservation. In fact, we learned last night that he has a zookeeper outfit that he wore for three or four years straight in his life as a young man. <laughs> He's worked with a variety of species, including cheetahs, caribou, harbor seals, lemurs, and Tasmanian devils, and has participated in externships in the US, Australia, Canada, Argentina, and Sri Lanka. Jordan's been very active in leadership roles and has, been, has, and has completed the School of Veterinary Medicine's training in leadership development. He served as a student mentor during Prologue and as an alumni liaison to her SAVMA, the treasurer for the Wildlife and Aquatic Animal Medicine Club and the intramural sports coordinator. After graduation, Jordan and his chocolate lab Hagrid will be relocating to Washington, D.C., where Jordan will be participating in a small animal rotating internship at Friendship Hospital for Animals. Attending UC Davis School of Veterinary Medicine has been his dream since middle school, and he says he owes this day to his mom and dad. It's my pleasure to present our student speaker, Jordan Cole. Surprise, Grandma. <laughs> Thank you very much for that introduction, Dean Lamore. Well, they told us this would happen. <laughs> they told us four years of vet school, school would go by in a blink of an eye. They told us we'd be on this stage before we knew it. And just as they warned, here we all are, about to take the leap from one day I'll be a veterinarian to today I am a veterinarian. Family, friends, colleagues, pets, thank you for coming here to share this special day with the world's newest batch of vets. Class of 2018, thank you so much for trusting me with the responsibility of speaking on your behalf. It is truly an honor to stand up here as I sweat through my ro robes. <laughs> you are my inspiration. Audience. You have already heard multiple times today that UC Davis is the number one ranked veterinary school in the world for so many remarkable reasons. But did you know that we originally earned that title during our class's first year here? I don't think that's a coincidence. <laughs> Dean Larimore, you're welcome. <laughs> Good luck next year. Now please allow me to paint you a picture of the class of 2018, a keen, enthusiastic, passionate bunch that plays hard and works harder. As for the play part, 2018 has been deeply involved in the inner workings of our fine veterinary institution. We have pushed student government to new heights, expertly run numerous clubs, and even invented new ones when necessary, such as the Gratitude Committee and my personal favorite beer club, Thanks for stealing that one from me. <laughs> we have brought home countless intramural sports championships and run school-wide events like Pi Day, when every March 14th we eat a disgusting amount of pie and then pie our favorite professors in the face. Throw in all the barbecues, costume parties, and fun food Fridays, and it's safe to say that we had our fun in vet school. As for the work part, Every student up here will tell you that these have been four of the toughest years of their lives. The sheer amount of knowledge we've gained through thousands of hours of lecture, laboratory, and clinical rotations is unfathomable and honestly a testament to the elastic potential of the human brain. 
To learn what it takes to become a veterinarian, we've annotated, studied, researched, prepped for rounds, prepped for cases, prepped for boards, all while valiantly managing to lead what most non-vet students call lives. <laughs> but it's been worth it. And though we are 133 talented individuals, 2018 is a collaborative, tight-knit group that has worked as a team throughout these four years, starting the very first day of prologue with those awkward trust falls. <laughs> We've clapped at the end of every single lecture together. We've honed our physical exam skills together, often practicing on each other's pets. We've inspected cells under the microscope together, deciphered the 50 shades of gray blobs that make up ultrasound images together. <laughs> Tensely performed our very first surgeries together. The list goes on and on. But these four years have had lows as well as highs, and we've experienced those together too. We felt all the emotions of our first euthanasias together. That's something you never forget. We've struggled through anxiety-inducing communication labs together when our incredibly skilled but scary client actors might yell at us, cry at us, or barely even talk to us. <laughs> it was good practice, though. We've gotten called in on Friday nights together for that five-hour-long colic surgery or third obstructed goat of the week. And we've come to the hospital early and stayed late to help each other with our patients' tedious medical treatments day after day, even though we could have used that time to chip away at stacks of records or, you know, sleep. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said vet school has been all cute puppies and kittens. It's not supposed to be easy. But over the last four years, we learned something that will always be more important than knowing all the answers. We learned resilience, the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties. Now, if you've been paying any attention at all today, this may remind you a little bit of Dean Laramore's remarks just now. And I think he was really onto something here. We didn't quit when we got tired. We drank more coffee. <laughs> we didn't give up when we felt stumped, stranded, or stupefied. We searched for solutions inside ancient heavy objects that our professors referred to as books. And we didn't run screaming out of the hospital upon learning that our next patient was going to be a paralyzed St. Bernard. <laughs> we steeled each other, for, we steeled ourselves for the task at hand, pled our merciful technicians for help, and lifted with our legs. We earned these degrees through our resilience by staying positive through the tough times, as Dr. Pesavento pointed out, by doing our best with what we had, even if it wasn't much, by being strong for our client or colleague when they needed us, and also by knowing when we ourselves needed help and not being afraid to ask for that. And perhaps, most importantly, we earn these degrees by finding the meaning in our failure and turning them into opportunities to learn and grow and do better next time. After today, the challenges won't stop coming because in veterinary medicine, there will always be more to learn. The fact that we will never know everything is as humbling as it is true. But the most resilient veterinarians seem to be comfortable in uncomfortable situations. And that's a school only vet school can teach you. But Davis has been more than just a school. It's been a village, and it has to be, because if there's one thing I've learned over the past four years, it's this. It takes a village to raise a veterinarian. <laughs> yes, it also takes hard work, long nights, maybe some intelligence, a love for animals and science and people and medicine, and of course, an inconceivable amount of luck. But more than anything, we would certainly not be here today without our villages. So I'd like to conclude this talk with an attitude of gratitude. To our audience, moms and dads, significant others, family, friends, as well as all the special people who were unable to be here today, it is impossible for me to fully express the thanks you deserve with the time I have left. We are who we are because of you. Thank you for being there for us every step of the way, not just during vet school, but ever since you first heard us say, I think I want to be a vet someday. 
Thank you for the late night texts and calls, for doing extra chores around the house because we were too busy with schoolwork, and trying your best to understand why we were so dang excited about whatever vet-related facts we were learning. <laughs> Thank you for never wavering in your belief in us. 2018 is grateful. To the teachers in the room today, the professors, residents, technicians, staff, administrators, deans, etc. Thank you for preparing us for whatever lies ahead. We are ready for this day because each and every one of you puts students first. Your patience toward us is unparalleled and your passion for what you do is infectious. I don't know if we've told you this before, but when we grow up, we want to be just like you. We can only thank you enough by becoming mentors ourselves to future vets and vet students. Sure, you set the bar pretty high, but I think we're up to the task. 2018 is grateful. And finally, to my fellow classmates, on the brink of achieving something we've dreamed about for so long, no other class has ever been the same and no other class will. Thank you for being by far the most generous group I have ever seen, not just because you constantly went the extra mile to ensure your patients felt a little more comfortable while in your care, not just because you came in on weekends so your worried clients could spend a precious hour with their hospitalized pet, and not just because many of you orchestrated and volunteered at the Mercer Clinic for Pets of the Homeless so that those with so little could receive quality veterinary care. No. More than anything else, you have been generous with your friendship. It was the friendships we made over the past four years, side by side, in the classroom and in the clinic, that made this experience so unforgettable. It was through these friendships that we inspired one another to be the best students, colleagues, and people we could be. That is perhaps what I am most grateful for today and surely what I will miss more than anything. We are here today because of each other. And as we embark on this journey, our journey as veterinarians, we must never forget that we are all in this together. Thank you, I love you all, and congratulations class of 2018.